marketing investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this Monday, March the 7th, and we're looking at the Dow down 324 at 33,299. See this arch formation in the Chapman Wave methodology, we're always looking to see whether or not this pattern here, we call it the dreaded H. Why? Because when you take out that left side low in an arch formation, look at this very first one right here after the 5th of January, all time high of 36,952. We went down to 35,639, and then we bounced just for two sessions, fails at that A, because it becomes an A minus as you come down and take out that low, and you keep going down lower. Look at the large arch formation that was formed from the 32,150 low of the 24th of January to 35,824, and that was on the 9th of February. Then it rolls over. It got repelled to the Chapman Wave inside track. Uh, this is the falling axe formation, lower highs and much lower lows. Tries to rally and break above, can't hold it. And it went down almost a one-to-one, -to -one, down to the 32,272 level. That's below the left side low of the 24th. My rule of thumb in the arch formation is you have two days in which to break above, maybe three, but you need to break above. But if you do break above, having gone lower, um, you can r then rally, but you're going to stop at either a moving average resistance, a doji candle, a gap, but something, an icon on the way up that should be a repellent zone or resistance zone. That's exactly what happened at 34,179 peak B, and now we're pulling back. When you consider what's going on um, around, I say around the world, but of course we know that it's in, in um, the, the Russia invasion of Ukraine, it's incredible that. Look at this, and I'll, I'm going to answer the question that I got here. Can you please confirm your status of the uh, of the S&P monthly chart? Uh, I believe you're keeping to the mindset that regardless of what happens outside the technical aspect of the market, uh, and this person put in wars in brackets, we didn't think of wars earlier on, uh, the pattern remains intact and you stick to the lettering. I look forward to hearing the show today. Well, I'm going to deal with that right now. When you think of the 35,695 high, uh, 36,952 high of the 5th of January, and here we are exactly two, whole of January, whole of February, here we are two months later, and all under these conditions, I am just saying all of everything that's happened to date has the Dow down to 32,272, and we're a little bit above that right now, we're a thousand points above it. That is remarkable action. And that speaks to the internal uh, positivity of our economic structure thus far. That's number one. Number two is, this is the Dow, that went to a peak E. Let me move to the S&P because that was the question on the S&P. And, and what I'd said is, there's no other way that I can count in the Chapman Wave methodology. In the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of charts that I've done, notating it by hand, um, I, there, I don't ever, re I went back and back and back, I don't ever recall a major S&P move in the monthly chart going to a B and then giving everything up. Well, giving everything up would mean you go below 2191.86, the low of the March of 2020. So let's just leave that as an abs. I mean, talking about aberration, that, I mean, we're talking about a war in the worst circumstances. So I'm just setting that aside. I'm looking at this and I'm saying we've had three months. We're not even into the third month because it's January, February. This is March. So we've only just begun March. And here we are. We had the Chapman Wave Roman candle from January. We had the Roman candle from, uh, let's say, from February. And we're actually into the area that I said has to hold 42.86 using just the 14 period moving average instead of the wick of the candle. So all I can say is historically, 
the S to B is the aberration here in the Chapman wave notation. Therefore, I can't, I can't go just on that for my entire uh, concept of what's going on at this particular moment. You've got the Dow. Let's go through this again carefully. And I, I, if markets change and you don't change your opinion based on the market, you are doomed to uh, tell the market what it should be doing. And historically, I would say, just as a matter of perspective, I don't think that the market has ever really listened to me. In fact, it doesn't even know me. So I am going to say peak E in the monthly chart of the Dow. Peak, there we are, alternate count, G slash C in the Invesco QQ Trust series, trading now down four and a half at 332.80. And here we are, second arch formation. This is that pattern that we talk about, the lowercase h can go to a lowercase m and then fail, even if it's just a small one. If you're looking at that, this is so close to saying that the NASDAQ is almost, if there is a close below the low of March of 2021, 322.81, that's 10 points below this, that's a monthly close. I just have to contend with, with what I've got and say, that is almost certainly going to be a peak G in the monthly chart. If you're looking at the IWM, the IWM, if I remember, it made a peak D. Yep, there it is, a peak D. So all of the indices, if I go to the XLK, key, a P, a S S&P Select Tech Spider Fund, a peak D. If I go to the SMHs, uh, peak, this is the one that has an alternate count, and this is F slash C for the market vector semiconductor index. So all of them are within the context of, and I'm just going to make a change right here. I, I, I don't know why I didn't do it before. High was 318.82 in November, 317.92 in December, 380.69, 69, 69. Oh, it didn't make it. It's a peak C1, C2, or a peak F top. Yeah, so all of the other indices, absolutely important. MDY, let's get the MDY, that's the mid caps. Peak D. So I'm not going to say that the aberration of the S&P is the norm. I'm saying that's the abnormal. The history is that we should go higher based on the S&P, but I'm trying to put it into full context. And what I said Thursday and Friday was that I was saying, if anyone was putting money to work in increments, as I said, over a period of months, you're just starting to put money to work. This is the first time that I'm going to say, I would rather see not another tranche put in at this point, but a tranche taken off to build up a cash position. Because you are not the market, I'm not the market. The market is the market. You don't want to be telling the market that, oh, in the Chapman Wave methodology, we've got a B and it should go to a C and a D. There was no nothing to say we would be looking at the potential for war that could impact the United States substantially. That makes a change. All I want to do is protect portfolios, and I'm saying, I would prefer to see some money taken off if you've been putting money to work, not a full yet amount, but money to work, rather than to say to the market, hey, <laughs> we should be going higher. Not yet. I see many signs that are getting to be positive. I see a lot of signs that have really turned ugly at the moment. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hour, eight seven seven nine two seven six six right number to go. We're looking at gold up eighteen at nineteen eighty four. Hit two thousand and seven point five um, earlier. Uh, well, last night and earlier this morning, it was holding quite well. It pulled back some. Pulled back to nineteen sixty four. Uh, now it's twenty points higher than that. Why? Because within the context of where to go for fund managers. Obviously, gold being an icon of fear, this is my interpretation, um, it's a place that basically says, under every other condition, the geopolitical situation that we're looking at right now could only get mildly better, but it could get a lot worse. Therefore, some kind of either portfolio protection or uh, strong positions, you know, uh, uh, Tom Bryan's been talking about that. He has a gold report. He's been talking about that for a couple of weeks now. And that gold, gold stocks have started to move quite nicely. And that um, the gold price, obviously, is going to help them considerably. And if you're looking at silver, let's see, here we go. Oh, did I just hit the wrong thing? Oh, no. That was a mistake. Um no, no, don't do that. New situation, and I just did something incorrectly. I'm going to go right here. Yeah, if you're looking at silver, SI, silver is up um, 0.04 at 2583. It had a high of 26.37. That chart is improving, but it's really working. Data looks really good. Weekly says it's working very hard, and the monthly says, Oh, about time you start to move to the upside. So I, my contention so far uh, hasn't changed that gold is really what we're looking at and that silver is really being dragged higher. It's not, there are signs that if, if silver can start to move higher, then it, it'll create its own momentum. But at this particular point, I really think it's more um, I always think, what is it? It's not a pilot. Pilot. Sh what? What are those? What are those little fish that hang around underneath the the, the jaws of a uh, shark or a whale or something like that? But anyway, it's like that. It just gets dragged around. So we'll see what happens there. But now this is going to be very interesting. High grade copper had a good move up. Had, ran to a new uh, recovery high of 5.039. 
pulls back, it's now at 4.72, went all the way down to 4.68. And this says to me that within the, the commodity area that copper is in play, but it is going to have to find its own footing. In other words, it's going to have to form some kind of, uh, let's see, let's call it some kind of favoritism. And if you look at, say, FCX, which is uh, a copper stock, had a huge move up, went to a peak D um, on Friday in, in the, about the 50-51 area, pulled back today to 47.83, but it's trading at uh, 48.73, down $1.38. In P, at peak D, in the daily, leg D in the weekly, leg C in the monthly. But look at how well it's holding. It's holding pretty nicely here. So we're going to be watching just what happens in all these different commodities. Look at SLX. This is the steel stocks. Look at this move. Another new high. Uh, not an all-time high, but a recovery high. At 65.15 high, it's trading at 64.91. This is the Fanec Vectors ETF, steel ETF. So we're looking at probably the scarcity from what's happening over in uh, the U U Ukraine, because they produce incredible amount of commodities. I mean, most people just don't realize just the impact. Look at wheat, dust wheat. Look at this wheat. Um, you see these little circles here? You wouldn't notice it if I never put them in. Look, if I take this away, let me just take that away. Look, I'm taking it away. You'd see nothing, right? Well, it turns out that that little circle was, there we go, a gap up and then a limit up and it never moved on Friday. Oh, but wait a minute, what's that? I didn't even see it this morning until I looked closely and I said, oh my goodness, up 7% at 1294, another gap up. You would anticipate at any moment the rug would be pulled and we're at least full one gap, if not two gaps. But wheat is in, I mean, the wheat supply, it's, it's going to be serious. You've got your farmers, your wheat farmers in Ukraine, maybe they're producing still, maybe they're not impacted by the war as much as everybody else because they're out in the fields. But how are they going to get it to market? How's the market going to ship it? So I'm looking at this and I'm saying, wow, that's wheat. What about soybeans, which was lagging? But it's still lagging, but it's still near the highs. So we've been at 16.59. Hey, what about corn? Corn, as we say over here, made a high on Friday in the daily chart at G slash C, runs in the continuous contract up to 7.82. Today, it is trading down 10 at 7.44, but in the higher range. You would just pick. Under normal conditions, this is obviously abnormal conditions, you would expect some kind of a pullback towards the 717, 700 level at the 9 and the 14 period moving average. Well, we'll see because this is, these are extraordinary conditions. Let's look at, um, let's go on, let's look at the, uh, I'll go to the TLT. The TLT is trading up. Uh, from the low today, but it's still down a quarter point at 139.99. This is where, under market conditions, money just flows into the safety of bonds out of the volatility of equities. We're not seeing that. And that's basically saying that there's a much better chance now that the um, yields remain in this higher level. This is the contradiction of everything. So that is saying the economic, all the economic statistics that have been coming out for the past couple of weeks basically has been favoring the United States economy. That's the reason, two reasons why uh, the dollar is up at 98.93, having hit 99.42. It's up 39 uh, ticks, and it's at a recovery high, not at the high of 102.99 that was set in January, I think it was, of 2020, but uh, after the fall to 89.21, it's come all the way back. And that's the saying that the dollar, in a sense, is telling us about the U.S. economy just at this particular point, not looking, not looking out, just where we stand. But at the same time, it is one of the, um, it is a currency, one of the favorite currencies right now. That's all. Okay. Um, now, 
Oh, uh, symbols. Well, I'll tell you what the symbols are. DXY, we're looking at uh, in the Dow at this particular point. Should be able to see it. I can see it. Uh, oh, I'm uh, tagging YouTube, yes. Um, okay, questions. Now, I forgot to put this in because it's been such a crazy day, crazy weekend. Just want to see in the den, uh, Tiger's den, uh, YouTube den. Questions? Yes. So a couple of questions. Let's look at XOM. This is ExxonMobil. Up again today, up 273 at 86.81. Fantastic move. Just in the last week and a half, going from uh, 75 to 86, 11 and a half points in a monster company. A month. I don't even know what they're worth. A multi 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 uh, capitalized com company uh, that's Exxon CVX and there's a layer I'm calling a leg D in the day leg D in the wiki uh, Chevron up 233 at 161 leg D in the uh, daily leg E in the wiki leg D in the month uh, Dow's down 413 SP's down 58 I'll be back Dow's in chapter take it take missions out are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. A question came in. Uh, could you explain how a stock could have a short interest of 60%? It's the highest level of CD stock. It's a BBB wine. Best Buy Retail. Uh, electronics and other uh, areas uh, is trading up 86 cents at 106.95. I had a low just a week and a half ago in the 85 area. I'm um, looking at this and I'm saying that 200 period moving average. So the, the answer to the question is, I think uh, Dave White would probably be able to really discuss it in detail because this is his, his area of specialty, um, one of his many areas. 
um, just talking about shorting and short stocks. But I believe, if memory serves me correct, I think I've seen up to 80% short uh, some stocks, but I can't remember names. So yes, it's really, really it's unusual. It's really high, but um, that can certainly allow just for the bounce to accelerate to the upside as it has. I mean, 85 to 100 was of 13 yesterday on Friday, 112. So uh, that is more than a bounce. That is really a big move to the upside, and it's holding. So the shorts are still there. So all I can say is I have I. I'm not going to speak to it specifically to the extent that I can say definitively. I can say that I my recollection is I've seen higher priced shorting positions, and sometimes it was even a very low priced stocks. I'm doing about eight eight dollars and nine dollars. It was a big surprise. Okay, now a couple of things we need to look at. One of the reasons. One of the things that we were looking at for subscribers over the weekend when I did my market over, it was another one of those intense uh, ones we were just looking and we wanted, I, I especially spent some time on two stocks that we were going to get in. I had them all prepared this morning. And then I thought, you know what, with shortages and everything, is it possible that these stocks are in, right in the sweet spot, but they can't get enough product? So I decided we'd stay with one, one and the other one, which I had all typed up and everything, which I think we would have gotten. Um, I, I I just canceled and said, we'll wait on that. Well, the one that we got has moved up really sharply. And the other one we didn't get moved up even sharper. So I think this is an end. I'm the one that always says, don't change your mind. If you spend your time thinking about something, go with what you want. Just put your stop in to, so that you can feel comfortable that that's you can afford that kind of a loss if you're wrong that's the most important thing so i just human emotion just got, got in the way there uh, what can i say hey i'm not complaining because uh, we're in a three i think the 378 ish area and it's really now 398 um so i cannot complain but in the meantime uh, I, my my only concern was you know, look at Ford, look at General Motors. Look, Ford is down from where everyone was saying, Ford, electric, Ford, electric, Ford, electric. It goes up to 25.87 on 13th of January. Hmm, now it's trading at uh, 16.47. And that has to do with inventory, mostly. Look at General Motors, inventory. It goes from the 65 area to 41. Look at Toyota Motors. Uh, it goes from the 210 area to 162 inventory. And that's really important. So it was a concern. I had every reason to be concerned, but I shouldn't have changed the modus operandi after all. That was silly. Okay. Um, now the other thing that I wanted to talk about is, look, Raytheon. Raytheon is up 274 today at 102.39. Made a high. Actually, it turns out to be, I believe it's an all-time high of 104. Yeah, all-time high. Ah, I used to have this notated in every which way you could because it's always been on, on my list. As I say, I, I have a friend, senior engineer, with a Mr. Peace, Mr. Peace lover himself, a uh, wonderful guy. Um, <laughs> and here he is doing so well with his, um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure, I, I don't know, but I'm sure he shares, uh, he must have shares of Raytheon, uh, part of the company. But Doji Candle High on the 1st of March, and 104.34, pulls back a tad, and now it's up again. Yeah, these things are moving, LMT. This is uh, this didn't do as well uh, early on uh, in February. It kind of went sideways, and then it just broke out from the 380 level. It trading today, the high is 479.92. Lady, under any other circumstances, all these incredible ladies, et cetera. I, I went through it with wheat. I went through it with corn. Um, let me just do uh, live live cattle. Live. This is a, this is a prize to me. This is live cattle continuous contract. And I'm thinking, well, with we you know, surely that they live cattle should be up in the highs. No, I guess it's so scarce. So maybe that's the problem. Uh, live cattle has gone from the 148 area down to the 134th, trading at 136 right now. Uh, live. 
And this is interesting to me. And live hogs did move very sharply to the upside. Now it's got the pattern A to B equals C to D. It's got the dreaded H pattern. It's in a leg C, B to the downside, trading at 99. It was up at 113, I think it was, area, 112.84 on the 23rd of Feb. And now it's down to 99. So we got mixed signals everywhere. Remember wood? We were looking at wood as part of the iShares, uh, sorry, iShares, Timber and Forestry Global Timber and Forestry ETF that was holding so well. Now it's coming down towards the lower part of the band at, at 86. If it starts to close under 83, you, this is that becomes serious because now you're breaking key support. HGX, the HGX is the Philadelphia Housing Sector Index trading at 429. 531.14 was the high back in January, plummets down to the 401 ish area pops up to 458 and now it's trading at 429 and you can see the oh talk about cup formation look at this double top i've been talking about these double tops how it comes within a dollar or two or sometimes within pennies and then it breaks down and, and the cup formation sees the low taken out what was the stock that i did over the weekend i think they have earnings coming up uh, we never trade this i don't know why we don't ever uh, dick sporting goods dick sporting goods only thing I've ever bought there, I think, was once I bought an umbrella for the beach. Um, and the very first time we used it out there at, at Newport Beach, um, Newport, uh, Rhode Island, the wind came up and just blew the thing away. And I lost those little <laughs> anchors that you put into the ground. So much for that. Um, yeah, there's the pattern that we call the falling H, the falling X, where you make it high and then you start to see lower highs and much lower lows. And then it tries to form some kind of a support and you get a tap wave inside track repellent zone. Last week it tried to get on Thursday, it tried to break above. It went to 113.32 on the third and it couldn't break above. And here it is sitting underneath it is underneath the 14 and the seven period moving average, 200 period moving average is key support at 106.20. And we're looking at a peak D. Now, why did I mention this? Look at the tops in September of last year. It goes to 141.89. Dick Sporting Goods, DKS, trading down three and a quarter at 106.47. It makes a G slash C in the Chapman Wave methodology. I'll talk a little bit more about the methodology tomorrow. I don't want to take time today. And what do we get? We get 101.89 week of September the 10th. It pulls back to about 108, runs up to 142 point what? 78, a dollar, less than a dollar from the all-time high over a period of, of a couple of months on the 26th of November, and now it's trading down. Look at these double tops, almost the exact price, unbelievable. I'll be back in a moment, Basel Chapman Tiger Traditions Hour, and got a couple of questions coming in. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. Pedro White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks, we're back, and I wanted to just say that uh, this is... Uh, Northrop Grumman is trading up 19 points, up 4.1% at 487.87. Look at these breakouts. And you've got to believe that this is, let's, let's give the stocks a best case scenario and a worst case scenario. A best case scenario says that at some point, they just on a purely technical basis, they get oversold to the point where they do have a pullback. And the pullback goes where? To the 9 and 14 period moving averages in the daily charts, which in this case would be 4, 46, 40, 10% lower, or maybe 13, 14% lower at the 432 level. And then it goes and stalls, maybe goes a tad under, but it basically treats that as your fulcrum above and below for a little while, makes a kind of a rectangle formation, forms a base, and then maybe starts even higher. A worst case scenario is, and how I, I don't even understand it for, the, for these uh, defense stocks, is that something happens geopolitically that leads to some economic uh, easing so that maybe uh, at this administration, I'm not sure how they're going to be able to do it, but maybe they talk about not opening the spigots, but at least increasing uh, oil not the oil production, not using the reserves, but oil production. I, 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 you know, I don't want to get into the political aspect of it because this is something we just don't know how it's going to be deal, dealt with politically. We can guess, but we don't really know. So that was so. All of a sudden, over the next three to seven sessions, uh, there's a lot of talk, and but um, even more action has been done. In other words, by Wednesday or Thursday, they say, oh, by the way, over this last weekend, we gave oil companies permission to whatever it is. That would alleviate on a short-term basis, just emotionally, the, the, the spike to the upside in crude oil. But all of this takes time. There's nothing that's going to happen in a week. There's nothing that's going to happen in three weeks. It's probably going to be four to five weeks before the, the effect of the effect is actually known. So if that's the case, the best case scenario uh, is more what we're looking at in, this, in the likes of a, a Lockheed Martin, or um, in this particular case, I was looking at uh, Grumman, north of Grumman. And wow, where are they going to go to, these uh, defense stocks? Not defensive like Procter & Gamble defense. This is not just an all-time high, but it's an all-time high. I wonder if I can just squeeze this more. Oh, I mean, historically, just uh, it's beyond comprehension. RTX can go all the way. Yeah, there's nothing like it. This is a breakout of unbelievable proportions. So I, I'm trying to put this in perspective and saying, I don't want to get in front of the market and say, hey, this is the time to go fully invested. 
I think this is a time to be as judicious as possible. I think it's time, as we've done for my subscribers to my opening call, we've, we've built up a big cash position and we're putting to work, especially I've tried to find, I couldn't for the last today's buying, I couldn't find a single digit stock that mimicked exactly what we would do with a stock that's up at um, 390s. Uh, that's different. But you don't have to buy a you know, thousand of those. You can buy you know, ten. It doesn't matter. You, you want it for the percentage gain if you're going to get a gain. Most importantly, I'm just looking at this and saying, where do you think these defense stocks? What would take them to the point where they give back the last three months' worth of gain? That would make a Raytheon an $85 stock instead of 102. It would make Lockheed Martin a uh, um, a $360 stock instead of a $478 stock. And I must say, other than pure technical uh, over, overbought conditions, that just says it's due for a bit of a, a pullback, I don't know. I'm just saying out loud, I don't know. I'm looking at these and I'm saying, wow, look at Jets. This is the um, US Global Jets ETF. Are they, there's everything going against them. International travel. This, I mean, price of crude oil down today. It's at Jets, J E T S is at seventeen ninety one down a dollar twelve. This is not telling me about some kind of economic. Look at Disney. I'm always looking at this saying, well, we should be getting. Um, if anyone was outdoors this weekend, I mean, certainly in this Boston area, no, no, hardly any masks on. People were just out enjoying themselves. Uh, just a lot of activity. And yet, Walt Disney entertainment theme parks, and if I go to six, which I've spoken about and we've owned, but I don't have it anymore because it's failing. Six is uh, Six Flags Entertainment. It looks terrible. The price of gas could be deeply involved in the stock coming down so badly at $39.29 to $1.87. So I think you've got to be very specific. If you're looking at the semiconductors, I always look at the semis. Just about to take out the left side low of the 24th of uh, Feb. It's at 249, down almost six points at 249. It's uh, made this H pattern and it failed to make a decent M. It's even just a little tiny H right here. So be careful. That's really what I'm saying. I'm trying to emphasize that because um, it's all very well having a cash position. And if you have, if you do have shorts, that's wonderful if they're working. But most importantly, in your overall portfolio, you, you've got to have some kind of insurance. And that insurance could be a way of having the commodities, or it could be having uh, maybe a VIX, uh, the, the UVXY. Um, that's a little more tricky because look, even today, suddenly it was this big rally with the NDX went positive, and now it's very deeply negative. So I'm just saying that. A way to ameliorate the risk is to have less in the market. And then what you do have in the market is very specific. Uh, the question came up, well, is the DBA still doing OK? No, it's pulling back today for, at 21.89. It's only up five cents. It was up at 22.25. This is DBA agricultural fund. I'm anticipating that these commodities are so close to some kind of just a momentary pause. It hit. 22.64 on Friday, the DBA. I personally, just for not personal reasons, but for general market reasons, I would love for these commodities to have a decent pullback. I don't want them to go exponentially higher from here. What is that telling us about what's going on in U Ukraine? I'd much prefer to have some alleviation of the tension somewhere. So with that said, I, the other thing I want to look at is what about, uh, where was it? It was telephone. Telephone and those other uh, telecom areas. I'm still a little cautious, although I must say that when you get to Verizon, so te uh, telephone is down 12 cents to 23.75. It looks terrible. And I don't think it's a very well-run company from everything I can uh, ascertain. But Verizon, could Verizon and Comcast do what the oil, multinational oils like Chevron and COP, which is uh, ConocoPhillips, um, 
Exxon, Chevron, Conoco Phillips. Can, could it do give you a dividend, a really nice dividend, as well as capital gains? I'm looking at it. I'm looking at them very closely this week because I think under these conditions, there is a chance that they hold pretty well. And I'll talk about that when we return. Dow's a chapter. Dow's down. 410 will be right. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. So just briefly, let me say, for those of you new to my work, I always look for the, identify the lowest low bar, and then count each successively higher peak, alphabetizing sequentially A through G. You cannot get an H. You have to see if there's a new sequence. And at a peak D, the fourth highest peak is where other things can happen. That's where you raise your foot off the accelerator, hover over the brake, and you see if there's a turn down or a recycle to the upside. The two-minute chart did a peak D right here at 9, about 9.28. And then look where we are from the uh, 4321 area. We're down at 42.55. And that, when the pink line turned, when it turned negative, look, we've been negative all the way since. Here's the 10 here's minute chart made a peak D with a little doji candle high at uh, 43.25, uh, I believe it was, uh, 25. And now we're down in the 42.55 area. So those are the techniques that we use. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. And a question came in about DG, just a statement in the in the Tiger YouTube about uh, DG. Dollar General is going to be a safe haven. Well, that's it's acting pretty well right now. It's at 211.44. Did make a, a perfect double top 
at about the 239 level back in, I think it was September or so of last year. Then it comes right back in January and goes to what? 240.10. It's like within a dollar of a double top cup formation breaks down. And now you've got your one to the downside. Now it's trying to go back into that cup. So that's good. You can see here in the monthly chart, I haven't got the notation. Quick, a couple of questions came in. Yes, UNH, United Health, done really well. Um, I think it could pull back a little bit right now. Uh, CVS, not CVX, but CVS in the same area that is healthcare, drug stores. We're going to be watching those. This, there are certain pockets that are actually holding quite nicely. And that's what you want to, you want to keep your eye on. So with that said, I'm gonna wrap it up, gonna hand you, I'm gonna do the news, then hand you over to Larry Pesavento. Take what you see, then you've got uh, Think or Swim, you've got Steve Rhodes, you've got Dave White and Tom O'Brien wraps it up today. Should be a very interesting session. Wow, down 476 at this point in the Dow. Right back. Check out both people.